it's Friday, March 3rd, and it must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. Two big updates for you this week. Uh, first and foremost, House Bill 36, the bill to allow optometrists to do surgery in North Carolina for the first time, was heard for discussion on Wednesday in the House Health Committee. Now, there were proponents and opponents both allowed time to speak. Dr. Cunningham, our president, came and testified for the first time before committee for this legislative session. And we'll be posting that video along with some other video to our YouTube channel so you can watch those and see what exactly happened at the committee. The ask is that if you have not yet contacted your house member, or even if you have contacted your house member, that you reach out to them again. All right, this is a serious issue. This is the first time that optometrists will be allowed to do surgery. This is not something that has been taught historically in their optometry schools. This is not something that they have experience with doing and the skills and dexterity built out in order to do these safely and handle the complications. And the Medical Society stands with the eye physicians and surgeons opposing this bill. We ask you to take the time to oppose this bill as well. Uh, we hear it may be back up again next week in committee, so calls over the weekend, conversations with your legislators while they're back home this weekend are very important. The second bill I want to highlight for you this week is actually two bills. It's the opioid bill that we've been telling you is coming for a while. It's House Bill 243 and Senate Bill 175. There was a joint press conference on Thursday introducing the elements of this bill. We've posted a long blog article with pictures and video explaining uh, or from the press conference actually showing what happened there uh, and we're also have posted a full explanation of the bill but a couple of highlights for you first and foremost you're going to have to make sure that you're supervising your nurse practitioner and PA who's writing long-acting opioids according to this bill you are going to be mandated to check the CSRS according to this bill uh, there's going to be a fee that everybody that utilizes the CSRS is going to have to pay according to this bill a lot of changes are anticipated coming from this bill along with some others but as I've told you before or as you've heard me say if you've been at one of the conferences in the last couple of months this is an absolute priority for our state and the fact that the Attorney General as well as House members and Senate members have all come together to work through this in a bipartisan way means that they are very serious about seeing changes happen uh, both to prescribing habits as well as to getting the pills off the streets so that we can get this epidemic under control in North Carolina. So I'd ask you to examine this bill closely. I'd ask you to examine your practices and examine the practices of your peers very closely and have these conversations with your peers so that we can get a hold of this thing, be a part of the solution to making sure that your patients are safe, to make sure that your patients are not uh, mistakenly getting these drugs or their drugs are being diverted somewhere else and that we can get our hands wrapped around this problem for our state and we can move forward on what to do next. Uh, as told by the sponsors, this is the first of many bills to come. This is not all encompassing. So there's probably going to be more on law enforcement and more on other solutions down the road. But I guarantee you this bill is going to be moving. So we want to make sure that we've heard from you on what you think and how we can improve this bill um, so that we can be supportive of its, of its enactment. Uh, look at those summaries on the legislative uh, blog. It's very important that those details are there for you to review and to comment, give us feedback so that we can respond and have a conversation there as we've done in the past. And we look forward to talking to you more next week about uh, bills and action in the General Assembly. Have a great weekend.